Are you all ready for the third season of Late Night? Yeah. yeah. Lots, lots of things have happened since we last had a show. Uh, like, for example, a car crashed into the Parkland mural, destroying the A and the R in Parkland. Yeah, the vandal wanted to destroy some art, but they were short by just one letter. <laughs> Over Labor Day weekend, there was a bright and ominous red moon in the sky. Mother Nature burned thousands of acres just to warn us that school would be starting that next day. <laughs> you know what they say, red moon by morning, students take warning. Red moon by night, your grades better hope you're bright. <laughs> Last week, our summer was literally cremated. Ashes filled the air for our first day of class. It's a little ironic, though. The first day of class, our cars were covered with dead trees, and for the next 10 months, we'll be riding on them. Did you, did you hear about the eclipse? Did you hear about it? I don't know if you heard. Yeah, it was a pretty big thing. Uh, people came from all over the country. Thousands of them came to Washington, the Washington, Oregon area for one day to watch the sun be completely blocked off. And I don't know why everyone came for one day. If they wanted to see the sun completely blocked off in Washington, they could have just come anytime in the winter. Yeah, over the summer, yeah, it's like a constant eclipse here, you know what I'm saying? Over the summer, food trucks had some, had some major difficulties. There was a giant onion spill, there was an eel spill, and one truck had bread literally exploding out of the back of it. Now, don't worry about the wasted food, though. It was probably scooped up and served in peel. Use commons. Yeah. yeah, I know, I know. That, that food, that spaghetti you ate last week, wasn't spaghetti. Mm -mm. It was the eels. Yeah. I used to be pretty hard on the comments. I, I, I think that they actually do a pretty good job of accommodating us students, which I didn't realize until I, until I started cooking for myself. <laughs> Pierce County Council Member Pam Roach has been mandated to communicate with their coworkers only by writing notes back and forth due to her rude and unprofessional behavior. Yeah, she now instead of saying rude and unprofessional things, she has to aggressively write them. And her aggressive, but yet passive-aggressive uh, writing skills are probably only rivaled by that of these two. <laughs> you know you've got anger issues when your boss doesn't think you're mature enough to use words, or when your country thinks you're mature enough to use Twitter. <laughs> so a Tacoma resident wrote an opinion piece, talk, speaking of Trump, saying that Mike Pence would be the Tylenol to take the, to take the edge off the Trump LSD trip. And, <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure if this guy knows much about Mike Pence, but uh, having Mike Pence as president after Trump would be like coming out of a bad LSD trip and then realizing you're in gay conversion therapy. <laughs> after we legalized gay marriage, you know, the white supremacists and racists and xenophobists were going, God's gonna unleash his wrath on you. And despite many pride parades, nothing happened. Those very same white supremacists and racists have one rally and God was pissed. Three hurricanes and forest fires ravaging <laughs> half the country. Yeah, yeah. I think it's pretty clear that God loves the gays and hates the Nazis. <laughs> Amidst the talk of the doomsday, Apple released a brand new iPhone, the iPhone X, that costs a whopping $999. And we think that this is another sign of the apocalypse. Because what happens when you flip 999? 666? That's right, you were already possessed by your phones and now we just know it's Satan. 